Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and this is Science Max Experiments at Large. Today, we're going to be looking at earthquakes. Earthquakes. Huh. Today, we're going to be looking at how to build something. <laughs> that was supposed to happen earlier. Today, we're going to be looking at how to build something that stands up to the shaking of an earthquake. Mm. Earthquakes happen when two plates on the Earth's surface rub together, and it causes the ground to shake. It causes the ground to shake. Sometimes it shakes a little, sometimes it shakes a lot. Chances are you do not live in a place that has earthquakes. But if you do, ask an adult what to do during an earthquake so you can be safe. Modern buildings that are built in earthquake zones are designed to withstand the shaking. But how do scientists and engineers build a building that stands up to the shaking of an earthquake? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today. First thing we have to do is simulate an earthquake. We're going to build a shaker table. And here's what you need. Two books that... Two books, four elastic bands, and four, four rubber balls. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Four, four rubber balls. All right. So the first thing you do is actually take your four elastic bands and wrap them around your books. Put one set on one side, one set on the other side, until you have that. Then you take your four balls and you stick them in between the books in the middle-ish area. But you don't want to have them too close to the edges. And now two at the back. And ta-da! You've made your own shaker table. What are you shaking, you ask? I will show you. You build a tower. Like this one here that I built out of building blocks. So here's what you do. You'll need your base to be securely attached to the shaker table. I use painter's tape because it'll come off again without harming the books. And what I want to find out is just how much shaking this tower can take before it falls apart. Ready? Oh. And there it goes. And when you've done that, what you do is you be a science maximite and you design another tower and you tape it down to your shaker table and see if you can make this tower fall down in an earthquake. And if you built it really well, it probably won't. <laughs> but you don't have to just use building blocks. There's all kinds of other materials you can use. Check out this building, which is really tall, and you'll see there's a cup at the top, and that's for a baseball. Put it up at the top, and that means there's a weight up there. And then we shake it, and we see what happens. Oh, oh no! Oh, there it goes. 